how good the Lord is. Blessings to you. So excited that you have decided to join us for our VBS this time of Vacation Bible School. On this Monday, we are going to be talking about freedom from fear. Romans chapter 8 will be the foundational place that we will look in the scriptures. And it's simply what our goal tonight and this afternoon is just to share with you that you are free from fear in Jesus. We want you to know that we thank God for you. We are so excited for this time to study and we pray that God would bless you as you study his word. Thank you, Pastor Davidson. Welcome to BBS 2021. I am so glad that you have decided to set sail with us. Our theme this year is Get On Board, Cruising with God's Family. My name is Sister Jennifer and I will be your activities director for the week. I am so excited about the time that we will be spending together. You should be excited as well. We will also be cruising with the Brown family. With them, we will learn what it means to be adopted into God's family. We will also learn family values and ways of being as sons and daughters of God. The members of the Brown family are Dad Daniel and Mom Michelle. The Browns have five adopted kids, Marcus, Deuce, Kayla, and the twins, Ava and Alex. Get excited, it's time for us to set sail. Our theme for today is freedom from fear. I'll show you the scripture on the screen and I'll read it along in my Bible. So if you have yours, you should go and get it now. In, in today's lesson, we will talk about being part of God's family. Everyone who believes that Jesus gave up his life for our sins is a member of God's family. First, I'd like you to close your eyes and visualize what your family looks like. Let's do this together. Close your eyes and think about your family. Make sure that you include the people and friends that you consider your family. My picture is gonna include my pet. Let's do it. As you can see, my picture includes images of me, Sister Jennifer, and my daughter, Sinclair. You will also see our guinea pig, Easter. Tell me who's in your family. I'm listening. Wow, you all have such different families and that is awesome. Just like your families, God's families are diverse, including lots of different people and creatures. God's love is for all. The Apostle Paul taught the early churches about God's love. So the Apostle Paul wrote a letter to the Christians in Rome during his third missionary journey. When Paul wrote the letter, he had not visited the church in Rome, so he wanted to share God's plan for salvation for everyone. Paul wrote how the law does not have the power to forgive our disobedience or sin. Only Jesus has the power to forgive sin and free everyone from sin's punishment. By faith, we must accept that Jesus paid for our sins when he died on the cross, was buried, and then rose from the grave. Then we will become children of God. Let's read our scripture for today and see what Paul has to teach us about being a part of God's family. Do you have your Bibles ready? I'm going to read from my Bible app on the phone from the International Children's Version, okay? Romans chapter eight, verses one through two, and then I'm going to read Romans chapter eight, verses 12 through 17. So Romans chapter eight, verses one through two. So now those who are in Christ Jesus are not judged guilty. I am not judged guilty because Christ Jesus, the law of the spirit that brings life made me free. It made me free from the law that brings sin and death. And then Romans chapter eight, verses 12 through 17 from the International Children's Bible reads, so my brothers, we must not be ruled by our sinful selves. We must not live the way our sinful selves want. If you use your lives to do the wrong things your sinful selves want, then you will die spiritually. But if you use the Spirit's help to stop doing the wrong things you do with your body, then you will have true life. The true children of God are those who let God's Spirit lead them. The Spirit that we receive is not a spirit that makes us slaves again to fear. The Spirit that we have makes us children of God. And with the Spirit we say, Father, dear Father. And the Spirit himself joins with our spirits to say that we are God's children. If we are God's children, then we will receive the blessings God has for us. We will receive these things from God together with Christ, but we must suffer as Christ suffered, and then we will have glory as Christ has glory. 
Isn't it good to know that because we are God's children and part of his family that we do not have to live in fear? Let's review what we learned in the scripture. Whose family are we in? That's right, God's family. Next question. Who set us free from disobedience or sin, punishment and fear? Yes, Jesus. Who are considered the true children of God? That's right. Anyone who lets God's spirit lead him or her is a child of God. How does the spirit help us to live as children of God? The spirit of God helps us to stop doing what is wrong and helps us to live better lives. What helps us to live free from fear? I hope you said it. God's spirit helps us to live free from fear. Yes, you got it. Great job. Because we are believers in God and Jesus, we have been gifted with the power of the Holy Spirit. The power helps us to live better lives and be free from fear. Now let's read today's story to hear about the Brown son, Alex, and why he was afraid. The Brown family was starting a great family cruise. They just wrapped up the embarkation meeting, having learned the safety rules of the cruise ship. Everyone was ready to set sail. Kayla was excited to spend time with her new little brother and sister. It was their first time going out as a family, and she wanted to show Alex and Ava around. Soon, Kayla noticed that Alex was becoming fearful of the water. Everyone tried to assure Alex, who became even more upset. I want to get off and go home, Alex cried. Kayla knew what it felt like to be in a different place with a new family. She went over to him and wrapped him up in a big hug. I know it is scary and new, she said, pulling away from the hug, but you can count on us to be here to keep you safe. Really? Alex asked. Of course, Kayla replied. We're family. Luckily for Alex, he is part of a loving family that will take care of him so that he need not fear anything. Similar to Alex, we are a part of God's family, so we don't need to fear anything either because the Spirit of God is with us everywhere that we go. Amen for that. How about some arts and crafts? You guys have a project to do. I'll see you back here after you finish your crafts. Welcome to the VBS Arts and Crafts Corner. I'm Miss Brittany, and today we're going to set sail with our paper boat craft. If you're registered for VBS, you should have received a link in your email with instructions for today's craft, along with a list of all the materials. Have no fear, if you haven't registered, or if you forgot to check your email, I'll put the list on the screen for you, and you can follow along with me. So, for the boat craft, you will need the boat template found in your email, but if you don't have it, it's very easy to draw, and I'll show you how to do that two paper plates. You can also use construction paper, just cut it into a circle. Paint, you wanna have two shades of blue. If you don't have paint, feel free to use markers or crayons. You'll also need blue yarn. I don't have blue yarn, but I have this blue tie string thing, but whatever you have will work. Cardstock paper or construction paper in shades of white red and yellow. But remember, you may also draw the boat shapes and color them. You'll need glue, a stapler, a paintbrush, scissors, a hole punch, um, tape, and that's it. So let's get started. Let's put all of these things back until we need it. And the first thing you wanna do is to paint the back. So you remember you have your front and your back. Paint the back of your paper plate using a darker shade of blue for the bottom down here and a light shade of blue for the rest of the paper plate. Remember, feel free, if you do not have your paint, feel free to color with your markers or your crayons. You can even use blue construction paper and glue a light shade at the top and a dark shade of blue construction paper to the bottom. So here we go.
When you're painting, kind of draw a line so you know where to start your light blue and where your dark blue ends. Where your light blue begins and your dark blue ends. Another thing you wanna do in painting, I have a tablecloth, but make sure you have some paper or newspaper or something to cover up your parents' table. You can also, if you wanna paint, paint on the floor, paint outside, but be very careful not to make a mess. But remember, I'm making a mess because I have this nice tablecloth to cover up. So we've got our top part painted blue, our light blue at the top. It probably was easier to color it or to use that construction paper we talked about earlier because painting can be a little time consuming. But we're almost done, we're almost there. One of the materials I did not mention was to have some water, a small cup of water, and a napkin. Because once you're done painting your light blue side, you're gonna have to paint the bottom with dark blue and you don't wanna mix the colors. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my paintbrush and go place it in the water, swirl it around. You'll see the water turn a light shade of blue and then knock some of that water off of it, and then you're gonna dry your paintbrush off. Then you can go to your next color. So you'll have your dark blue. Remember that's for the bottom. That's the bottom part of the ocean. So while I'm doing this, I'm thinking the top is gonna be our sky and the bottom is gonna be our what? Who knows? The bottom will be our ocean or the water that our boat is going to be sailing on, right? So we have our dark blue bottom. Be careful not to make too much of a mess with your paint if you're painting. If you're coloring, it might be a little bit easier and a little bit safer when it comes to not making a mess. So we almost completed our first paper plate and guess what? We're gonna have to get another paper plate and do the same thing, but on a different side. But we'll get there in just a second. Let's finish our first one. Remember, we're painting the back of the first paper plate. If you have paint, hopefully it's washable paint because you may get a little bit of paint on your hands like I'm about to, and hopefully, you don't get any on your clothes. But if it's washable, it'll come out. All right, so we are done with the back of our first paper plate. We've got our sky, which is the light blue, and our dark blue, which is our what? Water, very good. And it should look a little like this. Hold it up, let's see. Good job. So we first, we've got our back of our first paper plate. And all we're going to do now is the same thing, but we'll do it on the inside, the inside of our paper plate. So let's do that really quickly. Remember, if you're painting, wash your paintbrush off, get a different, put it in some water. We're going back to light blue for our second paper plate. This is the inside of our paper plate. If you have a flimsy paper plate like me, try to pop if it will do that. Let's see if it'll do it. Pop it back to its original 
form. All right, good, it did it. So it can dry like that. We'll give it some time to dry and we'll go back to our light blue. So, same pattern. You, what you may wanna do is hold your two plates together so you have the same line when you draw your blue across. So it'll be even because you're going to put these two plates together. So you want it to be even. You'll go across, paint just like you did the first one, all the way around the top, the middle. And luckily for us, this paint dries pretty quickly. How do we like that sound that it's making when we paint our plate, almost like music? Or maybe we can imagine that it's the waves crashing, right? So if we're on a boat, if we're on a cruise, when you're on a cruise, some of the sounds you might hear are the waves crashing on the ocean, or maybe we even hear those birds flying in the sky, right? And then these are some of the sounds we might hear while we're on the ocean. Or another sound we might hear is what? Who can think of some sounds that we hear if we're by the ocean? We don't have to have been on a boat. We could have even been at the beach. So when we're at the beach, we hear waves crashing. We hear birds chirping. We hear the what? The wind blowing. There's so many different sounds. And I think when I paint this paper plate, it reminds me of those sounds. So we're done with our sky again. Now it's time for, time to wash our paintbrush off, number one. And number two, it's time for our dark blue. We've run out of dark blue on my plate. So I'm gonna put a little more blue on here just to squeeze so that we'll have enough to paint the bottom water on our second paper plate. Here we go. And remember, for those of you who are coloring or using markers and crayons, even color pencils, you can do the same thing. It's probably easier and less messy to paint and or to color your paper plate these two blue colors. Pretty simple. I'm looking over at my other plate. It looks like it's almost dry. There's a few sides that are a little wet, but we're making great time. Almost done. I'm gonna hold that down like that. So I don't, uh oh, so I don't get too much paint on my hands. But it's okay because it washes right off. This plate wants to move around a bit while I paint it. All right, we're almost done with our second paper plate. And there we go. So we're done with our two paper plates. We've got our plate where we painted inside, our sky and our ways, and we've got the outside plate. So the next step, we're going to cut a circle in the center of the paper plate, the first one, the first paper plate that we painted or colored. Okay, we're gonna cut a circle around, just around the circle. If you have a paper plate, you'll see there's like a little circle in the center. I want you to get your scissors and you're gonna have to poke a hole. And you know what? Oh, nope, that's not gonna work. You're gonna have to poke a hole in here a little bit, okay? Let's try it. Mm being a little stubborn for me. If you can, 
If you have a flimsy paper plate like me, you can just go like this, snip a hole, there we go. And then we can start cutting around. So we'll cut around and around and around, all the way around. My poor little flimsy paper plate. It's okay, because it's still gonna come out amazing, right? Make sure you don't cut your fingers, because that could get a little tricky. Cut around. This is better, I was going the wrong way. Uh-oh, I got a little paint on mine. My water paint got on my sky paint. But that's also fine. So we'll cut around this circle here. Almost there. And here we go. Okay, so now we have a fun frisbee that maybe we can use later for another game. We have our circle. Okay, and so the next thing you wanna do, if you have your hole puncher, you're going to punch holes in the inside only around the dark blue part of your, plate, of your plate. Get your hole puncher. Make sure you punch a little bit about, if you know how to measure inches, about half an inch inside of your paper plate because you don't wanna bring it too close to the edge because when you start to string your uh, string through, it may rip through, okay? So we're gonna punch a few holes. My hole puncher is a little tricky. All the way around. On our example, there's like 15 holes. So you wanna make them about an inch apart. It doesn't have to be 15 holes as many as you can until you go all the way around the outside border. Another thing you wanna make sure of is that your hole puncher is not stuck. That's one of the things. And also is that you are putting your holes the same distance apart so that it'll be even. I think I've got room for one more hole. Okay, so there we go. Let's let this dry a bit and we're gonna cut out our shape. So remember there's a sailboat in our picture here. So let's get our cut out, right? If you don't have it, I'm gonna show you how to actually draw it yourself. It's really easy, it's not hard at all, but this is what we're going to cut out. We have our sailboat and we have a sun. So let's do that while we're waiting for it to dry. If you have a piece of white cardstock paper, the first thing you wanna do move some things out of the way if you need to. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna draw the bottom of the boat, okay? It's just, it's like a happy face. So you'll draw a straight line across, straight line across, and then you're going to, just like this, you have your straight line, and then you'll have your curved line on the bottom. So that's what I'm gonna do, your straight line and your curved line. And that makes your, what? Sailboat bottom, just like this, okay? We'll cut that out. Let's do that first. And you know what, here's a trick. I use an index card. So even if you don't have construction paper, even if you don't have cardstock paper, Index cards are a little bit thicker and more sturdy, so they're uh, a great substitute if you don't have the cardstock paper that's listed on the materials list. So I'm cutting that out first. It's my sailboat bottom. So we've got that. We can place that on our inside plate, the plate that we didn't cut a hole in, obviously. The next thing we're going to do is cut out, using red cardstock paper, we're gonna cut out the sails. So we'll do the same thing with our red cardstock paper. Again, we know our shapes. We're gonna draw a triangle here, and then we're gonna draw kind of a curved triangle, a little bit bigger on the other side. 
So let's do that. We've got our first triangle. We're gonna draw that straight down and you curve the bottom just a bit, just like that. All right, and then you're gonna start the other one. I'm gonna make it a little bit down a bit just so that it can be a little bit bigger than the other one, okay? So you start with your curved line, just like that, and then another curved line. And then, remember how we did the first triangle? You make that curve up a bit just as well, okay? We'll cut that. And I'm gonna do a little trick because I've already cut them out, right? Here they go, right here. So we've got our two pieces for our sails, okay? So we'll place that on our sailboat. Now it's time to use our glue. Remember we talked about glue? We're gonna glue those sails on here and we'll let those dry a bit. Be very careful with the glue. You don't need much. Just go around the outside. Place the glue, place the bottom of your boat a little, like halfway on the water, halfway in the sky colored part. Hold it for about 10 seconds. Let's count to 10, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What I find when I uh, try to glue on top of the paint, because it's paint, it doesn't stick as well, so you may have to hold it down just a little bit. Let's go on to our sails. Again, don't use a lot of glue. Just get those corners and a little bit of the outside and that should do it for you. Hold that down. We're counting to 10 again. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good. You guys are great counters. And we're going to do the same thing with our other side. Place that on there, counting to 10. Uh-oh, you see my one of my sides is coming up, so I'm gonna hold that down too and count to 10 with this one. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We made it. And what do we have now? A beautiful boat right there cruising along our ocean. Now let's get back to our circle part, <laughs> the circle part of our craft. We have some blue yarn. I don't have blue yarn, I have like a blue cord thing. It's blue and it's gonna work for us today. Cut it. If you want to hold your arms out like this, you can cut it as long as your arms will reach. Have your mom or dad or grandma or big brother or sister cut your string for you, okay? The first thing you're going to do, you know what I see? I think I need to put one more hole on here. Let's do that. One more. Okay. The first thing we're gonna do is tape I'm gonna move this to the side. We're gonna tape this, we'll string it through one time and tape it to the inside of the plate so that when we start stringing, it won't come out, of course. On the instructions for this, it says to use a yarn needle, but guess what, Miss Brittany doesn't have a yarn needle. So what I, if you are using yarn, what you can do is tape the end of your yarn with a little piece of tape, roll it around, and it kind of reminds you of a shoestring. So this way, when you're threading it through the hole, it doesn't um, start to unravel, okay? So that's a little trick that I taught you. So now all we're gonna do is just go over, under, in and out through each of these holes Okay, and um, once you're done with your tape, 
You'll go through the last hole and take the other side. So let's do that. Just like you're threading your shoelace. And you could do it any way you want. This is your art and craft, so you can get as creative as you like, okay? We just want you to have fun. And remember, like the story says, have no fear. Because we're cruising along and becoming who? God's adopted family. Very good. Looks like you guys were listening to the lesson. And I'm just doing it any way I can think of because I'm getting creative. This is my craft. You can go back through the first hole that you use. That's fine. And you, you wanna just keep threading until you run out of yarn. And you may have to kind of go back through your yarn and um, fix it a bit. It may work a little bit better if you have yarn. Remember, I don't have yarn, so I think I have two holes left though. So let's go through there. Uh-oh, something's gone wrong in the back. We'll figure it out. And, oh, here we go, right here. And I'm gonna take that one up to the top one here. And once you're done, yours probably looks a lot better than mine. But once you're done, you're just gonna tape it. You can cut the end. If you have a little, a long leftover piece, cut the end, get your tape, and tape that to the back so it does not come out. All right. So now we're done with this. We can tape it to, not tape, but staple it, all right? We can staple it to our other plate. If you don't have a stapler, you can use glue. Um, even if you have paper clip, you can paper clip and hold it down. Oh, I'm kind of crooked here. Oh, well I've stapled it, so now it's permanent. <laughs> but I'm just here to help. I know you all are the arts and crafts experts, so I'm sure yours has come out so wonderfully. And we're going around, going around. Here's our last staple. And finally, we have to cut out our sun. So remember we had our arts and crafts template that you're probably gonna find in your email, your VBS email. We're gonna cut this sun out. Now, if you don't know how to make this type of sun, you can make any sun. You can draw a circle and put your sun rays around. You can draw a star or a multi-dimensional uh, star, whatever you're most comfortable with because this is your creation. I'm gonna do my very best to copy the star that they have on here. Um, what I would recommend if you're using a, an index card like me, to draw it on this side. So when you cut it out, you won't see those black lines, but you can do whatever you like. So here we go. Here's my take at it. It came, it came out, pretty out pretty good, good right? right? So you have your star, you're going to cut it out. I'm gonna save time with my magic shapes that I already have cut out for you all. Here we go, right here. We're gonna use our glue again. What I'm gonna do is just put like a circle in the inside of our star because the star is gonna be off to the side, okay? And we'll place it right here at the top of our plate and we are done. Here's your final paper boat craft. Let me see yours, hold it up, hold it up. All right, you all see, I told you, yours was gonna come out way better than mine. It looks 
great. And I'm so glad that I was able to share our arts and crafts with you today. You did an excellent job. Now let's get back to our VBS class, finish the lesson for the day and have fun. And I will see you next time for our, another awesome activity. Bye everyone. I missed you guys and look at your crafts. This is amazing. I hope you enjoyed that activity. Now let's review what we've learned with some activities. First, let's play fill in the blank. I'm sure that you have all played a game like this before. I will read you a question or a statement with the word missing. You have to fill in the missing word with the correct answer from the word bank. For this activity, our word banks are the words forever, God, Jesus, life, and pray. We are a part of God's family because we believe that blank gave up his life for us. I hope you said Jesus. We are a part of God's family because we believe that Jesus gave up his life for us. We have a new blank because we accept Jesus. The answer is life. We have a new life because we accept Jesus. That's two so far. Number three, because of the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we can live to please blank. The answer is God. Because of the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we can live to please God. We blank, God hears us. When we blank, God hears us. Yes, that's right. The answer is pray. When we pray, God hears us. Because Jesus is our savior, we can live blank with God. Yes, the answer is forever. Because Jesus is our savior, we can live forever with God. Nice work. Let's play another game, but this one is a bit more difficult. It is a word on scrambler game. On the screen, you will see some letters that are out of order. You will need to arrange the letters in the correct order to make a word that we learned about in today's lesson. Are you ready? Okay. All right. Unscramble the letters to make a word from today's lesson. Remember, they're not in order. Did you say sin? That's right, the first word is sin, S-I-N. Okay, unscramble the letters to make a word. Did you say free? That's right, the answer is free, F-R-E-E. -E. Okay, this is a challenge. They're getting harder. Next. Unscramble the letters to make a word. I hope you said children. The answer is children. C-H-I-L-D-R-E-N, children. Let's try another one. Unscramble the letters, make a word. I hope you said fear. The correct answer is fear, F-E-A-R. And our last one, unscramble the letters to make a word that we learned about in our lesson today. Yes, that's right, the answer is family, F-A-M-I-L-Y. So we learned today that we don't have to be fearful of our sins because we are part of God's family. We'll talk more about that this week. Let's go to Pastor Davidson for some final thoughts. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's now share our closing prayer and benediction. Gracious and eternal God, our Father, we stop now to say thank you, Lord. We thank you for another day. Thank you for this opportunity to study together. We pray now, O oh Lord, that you will help us to understand that we are free from fear because of our relationship with you. Now may the grace of God rest, rule, and abide with us until we meet again. And every child of God said, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Virtual VBS. We hope you've enjoyed us this week. If you haven't done so, head over to www.mountolive.org and click on the Virtual VBS link to register. 
You can also use your smartphone by opening up your camera app and scanning the QR code on the screen. Once you're registered, you will receive important email updates about your arts and craft supplies, as well as secure your spot for Friday's Bon Voyage VBS drive-through. Let's all get on board and get registered.